I want to answer the question, how do we do this? How do I encourage myself in the Lord? This is not mystical. It's not mysterious. It's actually very simple and, and uncomplicated, but it requires that you do it. It requires work. Scripture declares this, the power of life and death are in the tongue. The power of life and death are in the tongue. If I want to encourage myself in the Lord, I must speak words, life-giving words. And so I want to share two two ways in which we speak to encourage ourselves in the Lord. Grab your Bible again. Number one, I speak to the Lord. I speak to the Lord. And I will say this, I believe you should speak out loud. I believe that the ears need to hear what's going on in the heart and mind. My ears need to hear these words. So I encourage you, Find a place when you begin to practice what I'm going to teach you to speak out loud to the Lord. I encourage myself in the Lord by speaking to the Lord. Now, turn to Psalm 91. Psalm 91, and I want to give you the first illustration of this. This is, this is a beautiful passage. This is actually written by Moses. So we're not only looking at the life of David, we're looking at the life of Moses. It's amazing. Great warriors have the same practices. So here's Moses. And he says in Psalm 91, a psalm of adversity, a psalm of darkness, a psalm of trial, and a psalm of per protection from God. He says this, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And here's our verse, verse 2. Moses says this, I will say to the Lord, I will say to the Lord, My refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He's not telling someone about the Lord. He's not speaking to himself about the Lord at this point. He's speaking to the Lord directly. My refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He's speaking to the Lord. And this is a powerful, powerful way to encourage yourself in the Lord, to speak to the Lord. Now go over to Psalm 57, verses 7 through 11. Now, somebody might say, well, isn't this just prayer speaking to the Lord? I want to say to you, this is more than prayer. This is more, to, more than prayer. This is declaration. This is authoritative declaration. <laughs> and I believe the Lord loves it. He absolutely embraces it and loves it. It absolutely causes his heart to jump for joy. It's a declaration that I will put my trust in you, O God, and I'm speaking to you directly. I'm coming boldly to your throne of grace, and I'm making strong declaration. This is about infusion of faith. This is about vaccination against doubt and unbelief that slips and slides us right down into bitterness. Now go over to Psalm 57. Psalm 57, this is another powerful declaration by David. In this case, David, not Moses, but David. And I'm going to encourage you, write this down because this is a cheat sheet for you. This is a declaration that I make. I love this declaration. It's so strong. David says this to the Lord. Now, let me give you context. Verse 4, 5, and 6 of Psalm 57, David says, My soul is among lions. I must lie among those who breathe forth fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are, are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword. So David is in the middle of adversity again. <laughs> Go figure. But in verse 7, he says this, My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. There are so many. They get in the midst of the lion's den and they wilt. They fall over. They give up. They lapse into bitterness. David is rising up and speaking to the Lord and saying, in the middle of this pit of vipers, in the middle of this lion's den, in the middle of this adversity, my heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. And then he says, I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises. <laughs> One thing about warriors is this. They don't live out of their emotions. They live out of their will. 
they choose to praise, they choose to sing, and they allow feelings to follow. I remember a chapel in Bible college when the, the, the speaker said this. He says, if you don't feel like getting out of, the, of, out of bed to spend time with God, leave your feelings in bed and get out, get your will and get out. Grab your will and get out of bed, leave your feelings in bed. <laughs> I'll never forget that. We don't feel like singing praises. We don't feel like getting up in the morning and spending time with God. But if you want to be encouraged, if you want to be infused with strength, you speak to the Lord. My heart is steadfast. I will sing praises. And you can just feel the strength of God beginning to rise up. <laughs> the presence of God beginning to descend on you. Mark it down. 